Advice on choosing your Key Stage 4 options. Up until this point in your time at school, the subjects that you learn have all been chosen for you. Once it's almost time to go into Key Stage 4, then you get to make some of the decisions about what you want to study. Choosing your options is an important step in your school career. And so it's important that you have accurate and up-to-date information about which subjects can take you in certain directions. Depending on the school that you attend, this will likely be a mixture of GCSE subjects and you might even be able to choose some vocational level two courses such as BTECs or Cambridge Technicals. Your option choices could affect which subjects that you're able to study in Key Stage 5. And so it's important that if you have definite ideas about which career path that you want to take, that you have researched the qualifications that you will need to study in order to get you there. Check with the staff in your school whether you're able to study certain subjects in Key Stage 5 if you haven't studied them in Key Stage 4. Don't choose subjects just because your friends are. If the subject isn't right for you, then you will be less likely to succeed. Don't choose a subject because you like the teacher or avoid a subject because you dislike a teacher. You never know which teacher you might be assigned for the course or when the staffing situation could change. Don't avoid a subject because you think it's for boys or girls. There's no such thing. Don't choose a subject because you think it will be easy. No subjects are easy in Key Stage 4 and each have elements that are difficult in their own way. Do think about what you might want to do after Key Stage 4 finishes, whether that's A-levels, T-levels, apprenticeships or university, and find out if the subjects that you're considering now will allow you to take that path. If you're not yet sure that far ahead in your future, then it's a good idea to keep your options broad and balanced. Do some research about what kinds of jobs are going to be in demand in the future. What qualifications and skills do these jobs need? Technology continues to be a huge part of our lives and STEM subjects are likely to be in demand. But of course, there are many employers and sectors that require creative people and people with practical skills too. Do think about which subjects you enjoy. You're far more likely to do well in a subject that you're interested in or are good at. There are lots of people you can speak to in order to get help when considering your options. It might help you to discuss option choices with your parents, your subject teachers, your form tutor, your head of house or head of year, your school's careers advisor or careers leader. And people aged 13 and over in England can speak to a careers advisor at the National Careers Service completely free. Check the descriptions of this video for some useful website links to help you with your research and thinking.